Hi, I'm Sport Mentry, and uh, welcome back to another face-off. Joining me from Winnipeg is the Kamish. Hello, Sport Mentry. All right, well, we agreed that our topic of conversation this week will be what we think of the crackdowns by Shanahan and the league on headshots. So without further ado, here we go! Uh, yeah, you and your music playing, Kamish. Trying to throw me off on that one, right? Um, all right, so I would say that for the most part, um, I think what Shanahan has done lately is great for the game. I, I, I don't think he got off to a great start with the Shane Weber incident because I think he could have given um, more than a $2,500 fine. But as far as the Rafi Torres deal last night, coming down on him with 25 games, Beautiful, I say, beautiful. Get that sucker out of the game. The guy's had three offenses. Three offenses in 13 months. The guy cannot le- learn. And as far as the hit on Hosa, who was taken off on a stretcher, he not only hit him late, not only leaped off his feet, but the guy is a dirty repeat offense. Okay, sport mentry, let me get a word in here. Uh... Mr. Torres has some issues with how he plays. He plays close to the edge, maybe over the edge. But I say Marion Hosa was in the wrong place at the wrong time, had his head down, body turned. If, it, if he would have been, if he would have just had his chance to get his head up, we wouldn't be talking about an injury there. We wouldn't be talking about a suspension. The problem we have here is the lack of respect that players have for each other. It's not just Torres. It's all over the league. And it's the league's problem. They created this problem. Shanahan can't fix it. No one can fix it. It's out of control. I, you know what? I want to stop you right there because I disagree on one point. I agree with you that they caused it by not clamping down sooner enough. But they are clamping down now. And I tell you, give a guy 25 games and he does it again, you kick him out for good. And I do believe those things that they go throughout the league. We look at the NFL when they started clamping down on concussions. At first, the players ignored it, but then they got the message, didn't they? And they're, they're, they're trying to hit differently. It doesn't run the game. What it does is it keeps their stars in the game. It keeps every player in the game. The NHL cannot afford to have this happen. Hosa dying on the ice, okay? They cannot have Crosby dying on the ice or even Ovechlov, okay, for Washington, Dying on the ice. Sportmentary, nobody's dying on the ice. They have equipment that is, they're, they're foot in full armor. They're, there's no one that's going to die on the ice. They're going to get injured. They're going to have their bell rung. It's going to look worse than it looked in the past. There's more angles to look at these hits. There's more, the, the coverage is there to, to, uh, elicit a response in the viewer. And this is what the viewers want to see. The NHL is not going to stop it the way the the way the NFL stopped it, which is known as the no fun league, where you can't even spike a ball I'm gonna, and score a touchdown. I'm going to come back on you on that. I got a few points I want to make if I even remember what you just said. But one factor is the NFL was forced to clamp down, and why was it forced? There are because they're getting the, sued left, right, and center. Right, they're right. doing the NHL cannot afford to be sued to the same extent as the NFL, and they will be. Why? Because there are studies now linking brain damage from concussions to long-term effects, players committing suicide, their violent behavior, their depression, and their death. Okay? That will happen. Now players will sue. Crosby will get old and crotchety and sue. Okay? He'll say his, his career was cut short because the NHL had the evidence and they did nothing. So that's why Shanahan in the league, and he's only a puppet, but that's why he has to take action. Let me stop you right there. When you're talking about the NFL versus the NHL, you're talking about NFL contracts versus NHL contracts. NFL contracts are not guaranteed the way NHL contracts are. You're not going to have the same problem with lawsuits in the NHL as you are in the NFL. Let's not get off topic here. The topic is that you... Luongo has a guaranteed right full contract. There are players in the NFL that have guaranteed contracts. No, they have... Peyton they have, Manning has a guarantee, even with his whatever, was it, 
70 million of contracts. I believe 30 million of it is guaranteed. Okay, okay, we're getting off top here. The fact is what Shanahan's doing is not going to help the league. And it, it hasn't helped the no, league this year. No choice they have to do. And going back to Torres again, the guy, you said Martin Hosa's head was down. First, it was a late hit. Take that away. Hosa left his feet and launched his body. But for him, that's no. charging. That's illegal. That's charging. And but for him doing that, there is no penalty. There is no suspension. There is no question. But he leaped off his feet and launched his body the third time in 13 months. I'll give you the last word because I'm getting pissed here. All I'm going to say is that the NHL created this problem. They must live with this problem. They can't change the way these players play. It's not similar to football. Football, you can decide where you're going to hit somebody. There's a specific way to tackle. In the NHL, you got the boards. You got the dasher. You got sticks. You got people wearing armor that that the uh, the Knights of the Round Table should have been wearing. The fact is, it's not going to change their mentality until someone maybe dies, as you were talking about dying. And right now, the NHL has egg on its face because they created a problem that Shanahan can't fix, and 125-game suspension is not going to help the league. Well, That's it. Right. I'm right. You're wrong. Good night. Yeah. Bigger players. <laughs> bigger players on steroids, bigger than they've ever been, faster than they've ever been. The damage is much more severe. But anyway, that's it for another face-off. Why don't you visit us at sportmentary.com. That is S-P-O-R-T-M-E-N-T-A-R-Y.com. Click on the face-off tab and vote for this week's face-off. And we'll join you next week. Hey, Kamesh, enjoy the weather in Winnipeg.